going on Capricorn? I hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is gonna be a reading for May 23rd to the 29th, 2022. So in this reading Capricorn, we're gonna take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding the 23rd to the 29th of May, 2022. So before we begin though, Capricorn, as always, I would like to let you know that you are definitely very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading. I appreciate you for uh, taking the time to check this reading out. And if you feel that it resonates with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe if you have not already for future updates. That'd be greatly appreciated over here, Capricorn. So let's just go ahead and jump into this reading for you and uh, give me a moment and we'll see what wants to come through. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Capricorn. Give me a sec here, Capricorn. We'll see what's going on here for you. Hmm. All right. Wow. Okay. Capricorn, very interesting energy here for you. Um, so in your opportunity for the 23rd to the 29th, we have the judgment card. Okay, the judgment card is about, I'm getting maybe learning from the past. I feel like that you've learned about the type of people that you want to be around and the type of people that you simply know. It's in both of your best interests to move in a different direction. I'm not sure why I'm getting that here. The judgment card also in your opportunity is listening to your intuition, going with something that you just know is spirit is calling you to move in a certain direction. It's something that's very special to you. It's something that like can't be maybe explained through words that you're, you're it's like you're being called, your opportunity is to is to make a judgment on your past and to use your intuition to propel you forward. Now, your challenge is the Four of Swords here. And it makes sense because the Chariot is the centerpiece to what you don't see coming, the Chariot. So um, your challenge is to really think deeply here and like maybe take out time for yourself and rest because I do get this energy of like for the 23rd to the 29th, it's almost like your energy's all over the place. You could be very caught up in your head um, because it seems like you have a choice in love for a lot of you here, a choice in love. And your overall general energy here, Capricorn, uh, very interesting. I think it's going to be different if you are more masculine or more feminine. But uh, your overall general energy of the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, and also the uh, King of Cups here. So there's definitely love on the table. I definitely feel like you have options in love. Could be connecting with a fire sign or a water sign. If I'm being honest with you, Capricorn here, um, I kind of feel for some of you that you've learned from the past the type of person that you don't want to be with anymore. I don't know why it's coming through as that, but it's almost more convenient for you to kind of be with someone who 
uh, maybe is a little bit ri- less risky to be around because I think I think you're almost going to the King of Wands energy here where it's like someone who's like a little bit more like flashy is coming into your life. If they're not there yet from the 23rd to the 29th, I think there is a King of Wands type figure that's coming in. Now, Capricorn, if you are, if you happen to be more masculine, you embody more masculine energy. Um, I feel like there's a movement away from being the king of cups and kind of moving towards the king of wands for you like embodying like being less cool calm and collected and maybe letting out that kind of crazy side in you so it's gonna be different depending on who you are um now there's someone who's coming at you in love though basically like or you're going at someone if you're more masculine if you're more feminine here capricorn there's going to be a choice in love because in what you don't see coming, it's right underneath the Ace of Cups. You have the Seven of Cups. This is all about making a choice, kind of weighing the options. And your challenge is the Four of Swords. So it's almost like what you don't see coming, it's like there's your – I'm just getting a visual like you're, – you're, this is now you have to apply this to your life because it may not be this dramatic, right? It's like you're walking on the side of a road in a desert. Uh, you're walking on the side of a road in a desert and you really do need a ride, <laughs> You really do need a ride and someone stops and they're like, they're in like this nice truck and they're like, you want to get in? You want to go on a ride? And you're like, uh, yeah, but are you trustworthy? Yeah, but are you the right choice? Should I wait for someone else to like hitch a ride with? So like, and it's like now or never, like there is this frequency of like, it's now or never. Like there's someone for the 23rd to the 29th. This could be your inner, if you're in a relationship, this could be an opportunity to improve it now or it's just going to fade out. It's like happening so fast for the 23rd to the 29th. If you are single, there's someone who's coming in and you have to make like a snap judgment. Um, You have to make like a, like an instinctual judgment here because someone in what, like, sorry for not showing you already, but what you don't see coming here, Capricorn, This could have to do with career for some of you, but I'm not, it's kind of love. (laughs) Uh, Seven of Cups, Chariot, Knight of Swords, what you don't see coming. I mean, there is someone who maybe wants to travel with you, who wants to move you around. The Knight of Swords, the Chariot, also the Seven of Cups here. You could also be thinking, where do I love to be? Where do I want to go? Like, for what you don't see coming, this could be a traveling thing. And your challenge is to, like, w- with the whirlwind, it's almost like you're getting sucked into a tornado and you have to kind of keep calm, cool, and collected. But for some of you, there literally is, like, for some of you, um, it's like you're going to get married to this person. But it's, it's like, and you've learned from the past, like, this is the type of person that is a little bit, like, now, they say that, hold on, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, because they say that the person who you're infatuated with in life, who just gives you the butterflies in your stomach, right, they're like, you're just like, whoa, like head over heels for them, that may not be the best long-term partner for you. The person who may actually be the best long-term partner for you is the person who feels like home. So it is the king of cups. It is maybe not the knight of wands. So you have this choice in love, excitement or reliability. Even if it's not like another person, even if it's not two people, it's an archetype that you're thinking about. But I'm telling you with the knight of swords, the chariot and the seven of cups, maybe if you're more masculine, this is you having to make a choice in love. Like how am I going to get this person that I want? But I'm telling you Capricorn, your spirit guides are telling you for the 23rd or the 29th, someone who comes in very quickly it's like a counterintuitive message where maybe it's like this person has certain qualities that will turn you off but if you if you pry deeper they're actually wow yeah actually what's coming through is like if you're not dealing with two people capricorn because sometimes the message just comes in waves so i appreciate you sticking around for this long for me to get there there's someone who embodies both of these traits but you're just basically seeing the king of wands or your roles could be reversed you're basically just seeing the king of cups but there's someone who is balanced who is coming in, who is making you an offer, and your your challenge is you're gonna be like, do I have time to make this decision? Um, do I have time to make this decision? I feel like there's someone, if it's not two people, there's just someone who has a combination of these traits. Um, and if you're a mas- more masculine, this could be you. This could be the, the combination that you have. Um, I mean, I, personally, I feel I'm the king of wands, the king of cups. You know, I'm not really king of swords. Uh, king of pentacles i'm i'm kind of king of wands king of cups it's a beautiful combination but um the reason why i'm like so excited about this capricorn is because look at the advice from your spirit guides 
Six of Wands, Hierophant, Hanged Man. You're stuck. This is like inevitable. This is probably someone who you'll have a successful future with, but it's just happening so fast. We're gonna have to clarify to really see what's going on here. But I mean, no matter who you are, I it's your problem isn't that you're going through some like dark shadow work. I just did a reading for Taurus that was, I'm just gonna be honest, really hard for me to do. It was like a very negative, re but it's like negative so you can get into the darkness to pull the light out of it. Um, it was like a shadow work reading. This is just like, wow, your life is gonna like really expand in a positive way, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and clarify why the judgment card is here in your opportunity. Okay, why is the judgment card here in your opportunity for the 23rd to the 29th, Capricorn? Yeah, Judgment's card clarified by the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups here. I f if there's someone, like, this could just be brewing, by the way. Like, it could just be that the energy, you start to realize that this is going to happen. Maybe not from the 23rd to the 29th. For some of you, it is, though. I mean, the Judgment card of the Ten of Cups. This is, this is your opportunity. I really feel... For a lot of you, it's to recognize that someone here is your. It's like a soulmate. This is a twin flame. This is a. I mean, basically everyone who comes into your life, you have a certain degree of soul contract with. So I, when I say soulmate, I don't want that to be an exclusive thing because it's really not. Ever like literally like the bum on the side of the road is you like not really, <laughs> but basically what I'm saying is there's a very there is a connection here. Could be new because you have the ace of cups in your overall general energy. This could be a renewal, by the way. Like if you're already in a relationship, mm, could go two ways, but I feel like there's a renewal possibility, like renewing your vows type of thing with someone already existing. But man, there is, I mean, I'm just getting married. So like, I'm, like maybe you don't see it that way yet. And maybe I'm like revealing to you. No, because the spirit would have filtered it. It's, I mean, for some reason, you're meant to know that there is, and that's why I was like, Six of Wands, Hierophant, Hanged Man. The fact that the Ten of Cups would come out to confirm what I was feeling. Yeah. So just be aware, like, you have all these, you have an option. Uh, someone who, you can have it all with this person, basically. Um, let's go ahead and also clarify why the, um, I don't even feel the need to clarify the top row. Let's clarify why the, Chariot is in your, what you don't see coming. Why is the chariot here in what you don't see coming? I get a good feeling from this reading. Two cards. Whoa, yeah, this is, I'm telling you. I'm telling you this is gonna shake up your world forever, basically. And if it's not happening from the 23rd to the 29th, it's like a recognition that, whoa, like this is what it is. You have the lovers to the tower. <laughs> okay, the lovers card to the tower card. Um, so, some of you may not feel ready for this, and that's why the Four of Wands is here, but guess what? You're, a lot of times I feel like, are we even in control of this reality? Like at a certain point when the timing is correct, you are just going to be drawn to certain people that you're meant to be with. The Lovers to the Tower, this is exciting, but it's also very scary because commitment, there's a pro and a con to anything. Like, even if you, like, even if like a helicopter dumped a billion dollars here, it also, magically manifested the ideal partner that looks, talks, behaves, smells exactly what you would want. It just like magically appeared. There's also a negative side to that because within this universe, every truth is but a half truth. All paradoxes can be reconciled. The seven hermetic principles, like what is going on? 
I just feel like there's a there's for others of you now like and I'm very hesitant to say this and this is not going to be for all of you but just like a few of you um I mean maybe it's letting go of a love you know if if this is if if you're in a relationship and you're not happy with the relationship I kind of feel like spirit saying there's something better out there for you it, it's like if you're stuck now you have to know your situation because for some of you in that case you're going to be renewing vows but you have to that's why you got a book this is I'm only at liberty to get into so much in these general readings I mean tower lovers chariot I mean what do you make of that Okay let's go ahead and move down to the uh, let's see why the Four of Swords, any more relevant information of why the Four of Swords is your challenge? Why is the Four of Swords here in your challenge? It. Why is the King of Cups coming out again? King of Cups. Now, for some of you, I'm getting that you're just going to have to move through the, the situation gracefully. Like, the King of Cups is someone who they keep their emotions in check. And for you, like, no matter who you are, I, I'm kind of getting that this is just an energy. I'm not really getting this as a person. Now, for some of you, it is. You're going to have to really think deeply about maybe you're leaving a King of Cups, you're going to a King of Wands. That's just for a sub, sub, sub few of you, not for all of you. Um, for others of you, oh my God, sorry for not saying this already, but like some, once again, it comes in waves. Um, you are intuitively recognizing that someone who's coming in with a chariot knight of swords king of wands who's like who is like literally you're on the side of the road they're coming in hot they're like hey come in you're like oh i'm not gonna go in the car because it's the king of wands but if you meditate and your challenge is to really go into this you're actually gonna recognize that the king of wands is the king of cups deep down and it is someone that although intimidating although fast although flashy actually does contain deep down qualities that will make you very happy the king of cups like they're actually emotionally available but it may not seem like it at first so it's like you may blow the opportunity of a lifetime here um it's also that it could be that this person you know because generally if someone is over emphasizing a trait you have to assume that the opposite quality is true underneath the surface like a lot of times like the most confident people are not going to be like oh i'm so confident they're just going to be like a calm thing you can recognize it or vice versa so i mean babies basically that's what i feel like i feel like if you think deeply enough about this new connection that seems so fast it seems so intimidating you're actually going to realize that this person could be a great father they could be a great mother who are like gender whatever wow see this is balanced forces I just did a reading for Taurus that was like literally like so dark and gloomy. I think I'm gonna lose subscribers from it. No, I'm not really. Some of them, bounce if you wanna bounce. This reading, it's like, whoa, way other, like you are just having, so maybe if you know a Taurus, I'll check that reading out. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see why the Hierophant is here and the advice from your spirit guides. Why is the Hierophant here in the advice from your spirit guides? <laughs> I'm not going to take it. But Ten of Pentacles almost just popped out. And Hanged Man, I mean, I mean, advice from spirit guides. Remember, Four of Swords to the King of Cups. Look at it from a different perspective. Make a sacrifice. You're stuck. Like you're literally stuck on the side of the road. The car's here, what are you gonna do? You're gonna star, you're gonna, you're gonna try to fucking drink water out of some like muddy puddle. Instead like the guy like, or the person in the truck literally has like gallons of like purified water. Now I'm not saying just blindly go either. 
I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to help you think deeply. What the? Okay, hold on. What just came out? Queen of Wands and the Sun. Yeah, Queen of Wands and the Sun. I'm telling you, there's like a counterpart of like this, there, you're gonna be very happy. The Sun card, also the Queen of Wands, like someone, remember the King of Wands, Queen of Wands now, power couple coming out. But actually, <laughs> I'm just going to end this reading right here, Capricorn. I appreciate you with that. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Uh, if you want more information on this situation, feel free to book a personal reading with me, okay? Click the link in the description box underneath this video if you would want more information on that. But as always, either way, I appreciate you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for checking this reading out. Expect the unexpected for the 23rd to the 29th. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I'll talk to you next time. This is The Autistic Mystic.